G'day, Craig Hagen here from Coex Training. Just like to uh, point out the, the subtle difference between a circuit breaker and a high voltage switch. Now, a high voltage switch is a manually operated device. However, both a circuit breaker and a switch have the ability to open and close under load and the ability to close onto a fault. Um, as much as I do not recommend that, they are designed to do that if in case of inadvertent switching. The high voltage switch in this case here is from a gas insulated ring main unit. Now the gas used in these high voltage switches and circuit breakers for that matter is sulfur hexafluoride or SF6. The idea of that gas on the switch, it helps quench the arc that's created when the switch is opening and closing. But because the switch is load make and load break and fault making, it has a powerful spring that when the switch operates, the switching arm comes in and comes off at great speed. This helps control the arc and the, the SF6 gas inside would quench the arc. <clears throat> to demonstrate this, we've got a switch which is open at the moment. If I attempt to close that switch slowly, what's going to happen is that um, if the switch does operate slowly, you're going to get an arc and quite possibly destroy the switch gear. But because the way these are designed, that's not possible to do. To demonstrate that, I'm going to attempt to close it slowly. It'll get to a point where it'll just take off on its own and, and slam shut. So there is no possible way of bringing that sw switch blade to the live bus at a slow speed, which can create a large and uncontrolled arc. So that's what a high voltage switch does. Now, a circuit breaker is very similar. However, a circuit breaker is automatic in function, not manual. So we can still operate it manually, but in conjunction with the protection relay, if there is a problem downstream, the circuit breaker can trip itself out to clear the fault by instruction from the protection relay. So just like the switch inside the circuit breaker, uh, in this case, it's SF6 gas as well, insulated. The SF6 gas also helps quench that arc that's created when the circuit breaker opens up under fault conditions. Um, likewise, if you close the circuit breaker under, under fault conditions, the SF6 gas does the same sort of thing. However, the circuit breaker is spring-loaded as same as a switch, both for opening and closing, to restrict time an arc can actually ionise and create a problem inside. It's the speed of a switch and a circuit breaker which enables it to, uh, to, to, to low make and break or, or fault make. The, the fundamental difference between the circuit breaker and a switch is that the circuit breaker can fault make and fault break, where a switch can only fault make and load make and break. The circuit breaker is an automated device, so it will trip off and can be programmed in some designs to actually close on automatically as well. Thanks.